cat collaboration right here. You know this mother. You know we keep it banging, don't take the fun. So all the real stay gangster us. We making paper suckers only claim to touch by sticking to the script and never changing up. You know we keep it banging, don't take the fun. Straight West Coast stand. Pick the script. I bang with the gang that don't need no intro. We run from East Long Beach to West South Central. Credentials to kick flows and rip shows. Dip folds and pimp while the end don't blow. You know that West Coast low mentality. Focused on reality but living in a whole nother galaxy. We keep it straight on before the spot. Banging snatch chains in the parking lot. Don't matter. It still be fine together. Pick about the thickest and I got to have her. It's routine to cool clean. Let's hit the show. You know we keep it banging, don't break the fun. So all the real stay gangster us. We making paper suckers only claim to touch by sticking to the script and never changing up. This was a record where my whole thing was giving back. I bang with the gang that don't need no intro. We run from East Long Beach to West South Central. Credentials to kick flows and rip shows. Dip folds and pimp while the end don't blow. Yo, when we first got together to work, it was solely for this project right here. It was a means, his means of bringing me and Goldie Loke together as a group, featuring him on various songs, but mainly it was us two. And then we just sounded so good as a trio, we just maintained that. I'm on Long Beach East Side, mad lunatic, gang bang slapper, out to get a grip on the grind, getting mine, ask the homies on the knock. When we proving that, you know, we able to work together, make good music. And once you guys listen to the songs that we got, I mean, there's some real deep songs that we got on there that we really took our time on. Let's get rich under the sun with the young two ones, TLC, and all the DPG. Down for whatever, whoever want to see me now. You're looking like me, I guess you want to be me now. We squashed a lot of beef with this CD right here and just let the whole world know that it ain't about no east, west, north, south beef. You know, we don't care where you from. You don't even, you know what I'm saying, trip like that. We trying to get this message that, you know, anybody can come up you know, so you can only have it for so long, so you gotta pass it on from somebody. If it ain't chronic, don't blaze it up. And if it ain't a Chevy, don't raise it up. You know we keep it banging, don't break the fun. For all my real to stay gangster up. We just went in and tried to make the best records, you know? And I feel like, you know, that we did a good job. And people are really gonna understand that Snoop Dogg is more than just a rapper. You can't spell the West without the ES. Oh, yeah. This was a record where my whole thing was giving back. I didn't want to come in and rob the people or steal from them or, you know, because I'm Snoop Dogg, I could take this from y'all hmm. or just put it out and y'all just take what I give y'all. You know, I wanted to make them feel like they was a part of this from the beginning to this part right here. I just thrive on making good music and giving opportunity and just being accepted and appreciated for who I am. And hopefully through this music, you know, we'll, you know, save a few lives. Because that's our main goal. Because we all come from gangbang lifestyles. We doing positive now. We all got criminal records. We all could have, would have, should have. But we doing this right here. And it's a positive situation. Now is the time right now. Because I feel like I'm vibing. I feel like I'm real hot. And I feel like the direction that I'm going in is good for people to follow. You know, if I can lead the whole rap community, why can't I lead a rap record label? When I decided to make these guys the official, you know, representatives for what I represent, um, Trey D had been down with me for a while. And then, you know, we had been through a few things as far as this industry, you know. It goes, it takes you a lot, a lot of times through ups and downs. And, you know, it can ruin friendships and it can make the best of friendships. And, you know, we went up and down. We had hard times, good times. And we managed to become, you know, real close, you know, brothers, you know, more than friends. When we proven that, you know, we're able to work together, make good music. And once you guys listen to the songs that we got, I mean, there's some real deep songs that we got on there that we really took our time on making real songs that meant a lot to us from the heart. And, you know, it was just by the grace of God that I had took a liking to rap. And I, you know, a couple of people had heard me in the neighborhood. And they was close enough to Snoop to say, hey, Snoop, you know, man, the OG homie just got out. Man, he ain't no joke. And so Snoop like, let me hear something. You know, and he met him at a club one night, and he put on this beat to um, G-Thing. 
And I, I just did my thing. And he was like, man, me and you going to get down. And he kept his word. About three or four months later, we recorded the song. And it was, it was tight. I see us as, you know, being somebody to be somebody that they look at and say, them three guys came in and they brought an element to the, to the hip hop game like they did back in 92 when Dre and Snoop came with the chronic. We got that same drive and feel in our music. Well, um, I like to, you know, listen to like, you know, Dr. Dre. When I was young, you know, he was the bomb. You know, him and Snoop got together. I'm from Long Beach, so I had Snoop back before he even knew me. So I just love pushing that real music, you know, and I just like to listen to that reunion of them, you know what I'm saying? When they always got together, they put out some real music. So him, you know, Dr. Dre, you know, Warren G, Snoop Dogg, Nate Dogg, Daz, Corrupt, you know. Back then, it was hot. 